And continuing our coverage of COVID-19's impacts in mid-Missouri, we are checking in with Boone County Commissioner Fred Perry tonight. Commissioner, thanks for joining us. So Boone County has recorded at least 138 cases so far since we started recording and right now there are 30 active cases. This is a large increase from the last time that we talked to you last Thursday. What's your insight in on that? Well, you know, 15 new cases in two days, that's uh, alarming considering that we had so many days there with no increases. But I really do believe that there's a direct correlation to two things. One, our, our increase, our testing has increased dramatically uh, here in Boone County. We uh, are more than double. The May rate of testing was more than double that of April. Uh, and so we're seeing significant increases there. But also people are just getting back into their normal routines. They are uh, going back to work. Uh, they're, they're shopping like they used to. To, uh, they're out and about, they're socializing. And so uh, I talked to the health department officials today here in Boone County and also with Dr. Uh, Randall Williams with the state today, and both said that they um, were expecting these kinds of increases. So this is really nothing that was unexpected. Sure. At what point do you think that maybe some more restrictions might be brought back? Uh, Boone and Audrain County are among the top 10 uh, for COVID-19 case growth in the state of Missouri so far. I don't think we're going to see new restrictions until um, we reach 10% of, of those being tested or, or uh, testing positive. And so uh, we have a long ways to go. Our uh, increase has gone from 1.5% to 1.6% as the ratio of positive test to total test. Uh, so I, I really, I think it's going to, we, we have, would have to have significantly more cases before more restrictions were uh, enforced. And I think that this is just part of a, of a normal process. I, I think that there's a lot of folks who don't believe that uh, the uh, shelter at home was really the best thing we could do at the time. So uh, the, the jury is still out on that, but I don't think we're going to see more restrictions in Boone County. Okay. Just this week, a Columbia nursing home, the Bluffs, said one of its employees tested positive. What's the state of nursing homes in Boone County? Well, you know, we really have been rel relatively lucky. Uh, there have been a few cases in nursing homes, uh, but nothing that has required a lot of, you know, the, the very first case that was reported, uh, it was an employee and it was only uh, that one employee who had tested positive. None of the, none of the residents had tested positive. And uh, I know that today and tomorrow they're testing all of the residents at the Bluffs. And so, um, you know, I, I don't think we're in danger compared to other areas like St. Charles County where they've had uh, significant issues. But I think uh, most of the nursing homes here in Columbia have been very proactive about protecting uh, their residents and their employees. Okay. Commissioner, thanks for joining us tonight. Absolutely. You'll be back here coming up tonight at 6.